Triforce baby. Classic. Alright, so what do you guys oh um did you guys ever come up with a solution? Did we get to the spot where we're just like, okay, this is what we do? What would you guys do in this instance? Because I mean it's a unique instance, but I, I think we had some really good discussions and really kind of eye-opening things, especially with Zelda. Uh, I like the Zelda part. But did you guys figure out what would you what would you do in this case? Who's well? I, let's start off with this. Who's who's responsibility? Is it responsibility? Am I saying that right? That, that, that could be. Whose problem? Whose problem really is it? Okay. Whose problem is it truly? Is it the instructor's problem or is it the student's problem? When it comes to students. Students. Okay. And why why is it the student's problem? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> really, and, and that's very true. The instructor continues onward without problems um, from there on out. But it's it's the student that actually finds a big roadblock. And I think the roadblock is where the responsibility lies. But like we were talking about a situation like this only can gain, can be, the student will gain more out of this situation than the instructor will. Because he has the roadblock, he has, he has the obstacle he must overcome or she must overcome, but that person grows from that. They know how to handle those kind of situations later on as, as life kind of brings them up. Um, so, did you guys, Come up with any kind of solution. What what should the, the student do? Because we've established it's the responsibility of the students. It's the student's problem to overcome this obstacle. What what can that student do? If you guys were in that situation, what would you do? In our group, we talked about the resources. Okay. Um, make, even if like your instructor isn't isn't finding the time, or you can't find the time with the instructor. You have the other resources now that, you know, you have your you have your mentor or you have, you know, um, a tutor that if you, if you know someone, like me with um, my class right now, my CHR class, I actually have a, um, a co-worker who um, uh, took the CS1400 class. And so he's like, dude, if you need help, just let me know. And he's he's been the person that I'm like, dude, it's, what if it's not working, what do I do? And so, like, he's actually helped me realize where my errors are and stuff like that. But with my instructor, he actually set up tutors. There's specific tutors at specific times and uh, that are on campus in the library. Okay, so, so you have a resource. You can go to actually talk yeah. to someone that gets it. Mm -hmm. They know what's going on. They're just like, okay, this is, you've got a semicolon here mm -hmm. where a colon needs to be or something crazy like that. But, but also as a student, um, even if there are, hasn't been a tutor set up, Maybe you could talk to your instructor about finding someone mm -hmm. to be a tutor, to be a resource for the student. So he's not, so the instructor isn't, you know, setting times up and then not being able to make them mm -hmm. because of, you know, other things happening. Um, so that student has that resource available. I like that. I like that you guys have any other ideas? Good question. Oh, good question. I mean, what would you do differently? Ah. I Actually, that's what we were going to talk about next, but I'll bring it up right now. Um, it's hard to not know what you don't know. In fact, it's impossible to not know what you don't know. Um, because, because UVU is awesome like this, and they make you take that class over, I, what I did is I actually found like tutorials, tutorials for the class. It was, and it really depends on your learning style. If you like working in a group, that works great too, but me, I like the group, and then I like myself. I, I went and I found tutorials. I went, because the internet's full of everything tutorial-wise for Kobe. Amber can contest because she's nodding her head. Um, and I wish, and I, maybe I just haven't looked into it much, but I honestly, I wish there was a, as much stuff out there on the internet as there was for programming. 
because you can find everything out there online for programming. And I think that's radically changed in the last two to three years. But if there was like some crazy stuff out, and I'm, I just guess I haven't found it yet, but on how to facilitate. I'm sure there's things out there online of how to properly facilitate, or things that actually help us solve our own problems. And that's, that's actually where I turn, is I turn to the internet, I've done every single tutorial, I've looked through every single thing on, on every single part that I think I need, whether it's a C++ program, or like right now, I'm in web development. And it's actually really exciting. That's, that's, the, that's the good side of the coin on this, is there's classes up. I've actually tested out of four classes at this point. And, and that's an eye-opener. That's a different horse of a different color, because there's certain kind of things you have to do to test out of a class. But because of a setback that happened a couple years ago, I'm excelling in ways I never thought I could. Oh, one more minute. Okay. Um, so yeah, and and that's that's something that I would actually, if it was, it was reversed. If I was telling a mentoree that's going through the same thing, be like, hey, use this. This is a beautiful opportunity for you to grow. So the instructor is not working with you that is only giving you an opportunity to look elsewhere and to gain strengths where you do not have strengths currently. Find online, find what works best for you because the instructor will, instructors sadly enough come and go, but we are stuck with ourselves. It is ourselves, that are, we're taking ourselves on the path to wherever we're going, our goals in life, our achievements, we're stuck with ourselves, but that's a beautiful thing if ourselves are improved, if, if we kind of have that good point of view, I guess, that vision of who we are, or vision of what we can be, we can actually overcome everything. Yeah. And that, that's, that's the crazy thing. And so, yeah. do you guys have any questions at this point? Does it all make sense? Is that, well, I guess that's the question. Do you, do you agree? Would you do that? Would you do it a different way? What do you think? And I'm actually not going to have you answer that. I just want to let you kind of simmer on that. Is how would you handle that situation? Whether you're in it or whether you're on the outside trying to advise someone else. What would you do in that instance? And that's that's really what the goal was here of this one-on-one -on -one, is for you to actually come up with in this crazy instance, this is some ideas of what I can do. So when it actually does arise, if it ever does, you come back to that and be like, I open the file and work. Oh, that's what I do. I've already thought of it back in this, this class. About it. Yeah, I've talked about it. I've figured this thing out. But yeah, I want to thank you for your participation. Thank you, guys.